Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Brown Girls Are Beautiful. I am your melanated queen, Lil Foxy. And so um, we will be enjoying this weather out here today. Uh, let's get to it. There are a few matters we'd like to discuss today. Um, and I d of course, I took some notes for you all. So what I would like to discuss are misconceptions when it comes to anything that uh, we are addressed with when it comes to any type of atrocity that we're dealing with. One thing I would say is steer clear of celebrities. There are a lot of misconceptions when it comes to those that are pushed in front of us in the media. Using celebrities to speak for the melanated community and politics is like getting a rapper to perform brain surgery on you instead of a, neuro a neurologist. And, and that is something that I wrote down here in my notes because I think it's so important and it's um, basically insulting when we have celebrities speaking on behalf of melanated individuals when so many of us suffer and have suffered and so many of our ancestors have suffered to give us the rights and freedoms that we have today to allow a rapper an entertainer uh, a sports player anything of that magnitude to come in and speak on behalf of the people when we've had prevalent prevalent individuals such as malcolm x um you know standing up for our rights and uh, i just think it's so sad that we've come so far as a people to slide behind to the point that we are today so i think we need to be real just vigilant when it comes to things like that uh what do these rappers what do these entertainers what do these singers what do these celebrities really know about politics well they're all playing into the agenda they're all playing their role so when it when it comes to speaking on behalf of us why would we listen to them what type of special skills do they have in that particular platform? What, what knowledge do they have? So for us to follow behind them or allow them to speak for us, what does that say about ourselves basically? So I think we need to really ignore it. Um, I did notice that a lot of the entertainers, a lot of the celebrities have been quite um, silent since this whole thing's been going on have you noticed that but everybody has been coming on camera with a face mask though everybody's been coming on camera like this everybody i mean like what is the point you're in the house and this is what you look like let me show you what you look like this is what you're doing all right you're posing for the camera you want everybody to see you Everybody wants to be re recognized of having a mask on. Okay, get over yourselves. Anybody can put on a mask. And a lot of people are out here wearing masks with their own faces. And you know what I mean by that. So whether you put on a mask or not, okay, you're still playing your role. So get over, get over it. I'm so over everybody coming on camera with a mask on everybody wants to be seen all the celebrities are facetiming one another they're skyping all of a sudden they're coming on camera discussing you know situations and they want our attention but for what basically the world is going under tyranny and you want our attention for frivolous matters that once again is an insult to melanated individuals and i'm going to try not to name any names but I will be discussing about a particular scenario that I saw yesterday with Dr. Fauci and also I keep seeing such certain uh, topics pop up about these rappers about their beef who cares we don't care we don't care so get over yourselves no one out here cares about your beef no one out here cares about all this these frivolous matters this nonsense that you keep pushing in our faces people out here have lost their jobs people out here are losing loved ones people out here have lost their ways of life and they're losing their freedoms and you want us to be focused on a rapper you want us to be focused on an entertainer no uh we're not doing that so we're going to keep talking about the things that affect us and the things that impact us that's what we're going to do 
Um, and if y'all want to go out there and play with the entertainers, go right ahead. But that is the problem. That is how you get stripped of your civil rights. That is how you get stripped of your liberties. When you keep closing your eyes, going to sleep, being pacified by entertainers. So you will go down, basically like the Titanic, playing violins, watching entertainers as your rights are stripped from you. And I think there are some very important matters that came out in the live stream today uh, with Donald Trump. If anybody took the time to listen or pay attention, I, I was able to manage to catch some of that. And I thought it was so interesting that he brought up the fact of the Second Amendment right, you all. When have you noticed any type of president to speak up on our behalf for our Second Amendment rights? And for those of you um, who are not familiar with that particular right, it, it is the right to bear arms. It is the right to have a G.U.N. to protect yourself. And I think a lot of people were awakened when the situation hit. A lot of people say you're not coming into our houses. You're not making us get a vaccine. You're not dragging us. We're not going down without a fight. And so I commend you all for that. I commend every one of you who went out there and practiced your Second Amendment rights. Get your get your you know protection because we don't know um, what may be coming in the next couple of months. It seems like things are coming you know to a halt. Things are dying down a little. Um, we know that the numbers have been skewed. We know that a lot of the numbers have been tampered with. But what we don't know is what is next um, after this whole situation kind of calms down. What will be coming down the pipeline next? So we need to be very um, prepared for that. Also, they're saying they don't know if they're going to be opening schools back up again. So what does that do to the education of the youth out here? Um, a lot of parents might not even know what curriculum to teach. Um, they might not be well versed in certain topics. So I think we all need to come together. And um, if you have a certain skill set, if you're knowledgeable in a certain field, maybe, you know, tutoring uh, one another could actually help out in a time such as this. And it might be more beneficial um, as well. Um, and what we have just seen, you all, is an act of war against the people, whether people are cognizant of it or not. Anytime you manufacture a biochemical weapon to attack the people, and I don't know how this came into the forefront, I don't know if they injected this into someone, but ba basically be very clear, we have been under attack, whether people believe it or not. And those who have lost their loved ones, um, have been so impacted by this need to be compensated dearly because this has been an act of war on the people and the citizens of this country let's be very clear on that so was 9-11 a lot of people lost their lives and um, I'm very you know sad to hear that and it's so unfortunate but a lot of people are not privy to the fact that people would be this evil and uh, people have plotted against this um, against people for years doing these type of things there is a clip with dr drew dr oz and dr phil out there and um if anybody wants to go check that out i would caution you to go take a look at it because basically dr oz was saying that it might not be a bad idea to open up the schools and a lot of people attacked him for that so he had to come back and recant his statement and state that he misspoke a lot of people are very uh, sensitive and emotional when it comes to these matters they're thinking that he was saying that we should put the youth at risk but I don't think that's exactly what he was saying I think that he was saying that you're gonna have risks in anything that comes about um, but sometimes you have to weigh your options and you have to weigh uh, the risks and the advantages versus the disadvantages. So um, let's be very clear when it comes to these matters. We don't really know if the numbers that have been told to us are accurate. Uh, for what we have found out, a lot of people are making up numbers, okay? There are videos of nurses and doctors out here uh, with plenty of time on their hands and they're out making videos, YouTube videos, dancing, you know, singing in the hospitals, doing all sorts of all sorts of creative uh, acrobats. OK, when it comes to dance challenges. So I just thought that was interesting at a time like this. What else is going on out here? We're seeing how uh, stores, Walmart, um, 
different different stores are taking advantage of this situation to implement their own rules that have nothing to do with anything whatsoever. Um, people are asked to come in, uh, maybe like a certain amount of people coming into the stores at a time. And uh, we did watch, you know, that video with Dr. Rashid just basically telling us that there is no type of virus that jumps 6, 10 to 13 feet, okay? Um, like I said, this is a, just, just a form of control. They're trying to see how far they can push um, to see how far the people will actually go with it to basically be able to have control over the people and a lot of people are falling for it they're treating people like they're in elementary school you remember when we used to have to get in line get in the lunch lines girls on one side boys on the other everybody walking single file well that's what they're doing to people getting in lines at the stores lined up outside we'll take a few of you at a time all of this nonsense one entry one entryway in one entryway out what difference does it make because when you're in the store you're passing by the same people that you saw when you walked in so what is the difference if you go in one way and out the other just a bunch of nonsense is going on um and if you ever pay attention to dr fauci uh, when he introduces um any new topic to the media or when he's going over things i notice there's a lot of ambiguous talk going on and a lot of times when people have a lot of ambiguous talk it's for a reason there's something they're trying to hide and they're not really trying to be forthcoming so you have to look behind what they're saying and make your own interpretation um, of exactly what they're trying to say um, also later on I would like to discuss some books um, that I have read and I've downloaded in my Kindle one of them is a book by Dr. Leila Africa and it's called Melanin and how to take care of it and I think that's something very interesting something that's extremely important for our melanated people I want to just stress the fact again to make sure that you get all of your nutrients at a time like this uh, keep your immune system built up um, get your fruit your vegetables your nuts your berries your colloidal silver um, anything else your vitamin C whatever's working for you keep doing it a lot of us has have been in the house we haven't been going out, but make sure you get your fresh air, get your sunlight, your vitamin D. Keep those immune systems, you know, very, very strong. Um, so in case anything comes about, you will be able to fight against it, okay? I'm not going to go on too long, rambling, but um, I will hopefully be going live soon. So if anyone cares to join me, I would love for you to be there. And we'll be discussing topics that really do impact us, that will be affecting our lives. We're not going to be talking about a bunch of nonsense, about entertainers, about rappers, about uh, sports characters. We're going to be talking about real life situations for the real people out here. So thank you so much, everybody. It is a little chilly out here. It's windy. The wind is blowing. So I'm going to be headed back inside, but I thank you all for watching. Everybody out there, stay blessed, stay well, stay healthy. And until next time, all my melanated queens, stay beautiful. All my melanated kings, stay the warriors that you are.